Namaste, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Festival of Bharat. Today, I'm joined by a very special guest all the way from Brazil, Amritananda Dasaji. Namaste, Amritaji. How are you? It's such a pleasure to have you here on our channel. Namaste, Sharam. It's my pleasure. Always a big fan of Chitty Media. Uh, I'm very humbled to hear that. Thank you so much. And uh, in fact, even I've been following you on social media for a while now, and I've obviously read um, what you have to write. And I think a lot of people are inspired and uh, uh, frankly, uh, you know, pleasantly also surprised about the things that you say and do. Um, so it was a popular request that we interview you on our channel. And finally, we could set up this interview after a few weeks. Um, first of all, let me begin by asking you, how's the situation in Brazil as far as the pandemic is concerned? Has it simmered down a bit? Uh, it's a little better now, uh, vaccination going on. Right. Um, but now fears about the new variant. Right. The uh, Omicron, right? Yeah. Right. I, I, I genuinely hope that uh, all of you stay safe. Uh, but, you know, let me begin by asking you this. What drew you towards Sanatana Dharma? When did it happen? How did it happen? And, um, you know, can you tell us the story to our viewers? Sure. It's a long story, but I can, I can try to Let's make it short. Time. Yeah. Uh, I always had a deep uh, faith in God, in spiritual life since a child. And um, for me, makes no much sense what I learned in the Christian teachings because I'm born in a Catholic family and I did my Catholic studies, but many questions, I didn't get any answer. And right. then I tried to search for more. When I finished my Catholic studies around 11, 12 years, I quit the church and started to went to Espiritismo. Espiritismo is a, like a religion that is very popular here in Brazil that is, was founded by a French guy called Alain Kardec after he, he read about the Veda teachings right. in French, but became popular here in Brazil. It's a religion that it's based in Christianity, in the, the Jesus thing, but it's accept karma, reincarnation, and higher spirits, and this kind of things that came from Eastern philosophy. Right. So I started to study with them because it was the most uh, logical thing because it was about the karma and the reincarnation that I thought that it was much more logical and much more uh, true. So I went with them for one year around, but then later also I wanted more. I think that was also something deeper to go. Then I started to find some new age groups. Here are popular, a new age group called Gnosis that they spread like universal religions teachings. They teach about all religions and they, they speak about ancient gods of Greece, of Rome, Egypt, and also about India. This was my first direct contact with uh, the terms like uh, yoga and Krishna even they talk very superficial about it and try right. to make like a new age perspective about it. But, but it was my first contact with yoga asanas and they used to, to say that Krishna and Shiva are the names of God in India. So that make me like wanted to know more like it, right. it's in. So I started to study more. And the first thing that I met was yoga. I started to, to make uh, yoga courses and made my first TTC teacher training course in Hatha Yoga Vedanta in the line of Swami Shivananda in 2008. And uh, in my teenager that I met uh, the Hare Krishna movement. First okay. from ISKCON and later from, my, from Gaudiya Math. And there I found my, my guru, my spiritual master. And since then, I, I tried to right. study more about all aspects of Indic uh, heritage and science, arts like yoga, Ayurveda, Jyotish, Vastu, arts, dance, music. I'm a big right. fan of history of India. So it's, it's like a passion in many aspects in my life. 
please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.